Okay, so we're going to jump back into Earthbound. Sorry, it's kind of dark in my room. I'm enjoying the coolness of the day. Alright, so I've leveled them up a little bit. Not like a lot. But I wanted to make sure I didn't get demolished again. You finally got here. This is the third your sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me. If you dare. Okay. Let's see if I can paralyze it. fire next time. That didn't work. Good. Bad. <laughs> Alright. I don't care about those little ones, I just gotta get rid of the big thing. fire, but I feel like the freeze hurt it worse. Oops. Yeah! Fuck yeah! I mean, I don't think they need much, but... Sorry, I'm turning my brightness up so I can see better. Adra thought he heard his mother from far away. She said, be a thoughtful, strong boy. Adra's soundstone recorded the melody of the Milky Well. The Milky Well? Wait, so I went through all that just- I'm going through all of this bullshit just to get noises, sounds. Seems like a lot. Okay, that's all we can do here. We're going back. Hey, butterfly, come here. Bitch, come here. Eh. Run away, run away, run. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to fight us now. But I want to fight. Come here. I just want the experience points.
Ah, poop. I was trying to avoid that battle. I don't like the mushrooms. Go Joe. Yeah, we'll fight these guys. Wait, is there a mushroom in there? No, they're more good. Oh shit, why would I all miss him? These battles are still kind of tough tells me that the end the, this game is going to be hard as fuck when I get near the end. Because Adra's already a, 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 over halfway leveled up. He's at like level 57. Let's jump in here just to make sure we're all good. Let's see, we're... Yeah, he's at level 57. And Vern's level 50. And Joe's level 47. But Joe just joined us. Okay, so now what do we do? Talk to people? Oh, wait, is this the same coffee? You've traveled very far. Yes, it's the same coffee. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna fast forward this. Do you remember how a long and winding journey began with someone pounding at your door? It was Pokey, the worst person in your neighborhood, who knocked on the door that fateful night. On your way, you have walked through and fought, yet through all this, you have never lost your courage. You have grown steadily stronger, though you have experienced the pain of battle many times. You are no longer alone in your adventure. Vernet, who is steadfast, kind, and even pretty, is always at your side. Joe is with you as well. Though he is timid, he came from a distant land to help you, Adra, as you certainly know. By now, you are not a regular young man. You have an awesome destiny to fulfill. The journey from this point will be long, and it will be more difficult than anything you have undergone at this point, yet I know you will be alright. When good battles evil, which side do you believe wins? Do you have faith that good is triumphant? One thing you must never lose is courage. If you believe the goal you are striving for, you will be courageous. There are many difficult times ahead of you, but you must keep your sense of humor, work through the tough situations, and enjoy yourself. When you have finished this cup of coffee, your adventure will begin again. Next, you must pass through a vast desert, proceed to the city of Foresight. Adra, Burn, Joe. I wish you luck. Okay. I don't know why I drank the coffee again, but we're going. <clears throat> I don't know why I thought it was something different. Come on, let me out. Boo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sweet feel. Okay. It's still blocking the way. Okay. <clears throat> Let's rest here real quick. Oh, didn't mean to go back out. Yes. KO. Sorry, I'm burping up all that soda you just saw me chug. <laughs> okay, should we fast forward this walk? Does it bother you guys when I fast forward it? They just seem like they're moving so slow. But that's because I play for hours with them moving like this.
just one of them. Or freeze now. Just regular freeze. See how strong this the regular freeze is. Whoa. That's fairly strong. That's the waterfall we went. What? Okay, we went behind that waterfall, so how did we come out here? I'm so confused. I know we don't go back behind the waterfall because we just left that area. We will leave the froggy alone since he's running away. Those roaches, on the other hand, weren't as smart. <laughs> What's in here? Nothing. Butterfly! <laughs> Okay, so now we're going back to the cemetery, right? It's a long walk. <laughs> It looks different. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Threed. Thanks, peace, love. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Threed sometime? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The buses can get through now. Ah, uh, cool. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. Well. Let's see. Is there anybody we need to talk to before we head on to the floor side? I want to go through to the desert and onto the big city. I want to see the city and I want to smell the big city. I'm a real urban type of guy. Sweet. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I heard there was a guy who was digging for buried treasure in Dusty Dunes Desert. A share of that treasure share would be nice. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, so let's go see what's up in Foresight. <laughs> I'd like to see what's crawled up my nose. I don't know why I came in here. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. We could take a bus, but we're gonna walk. Because we walk. 
<sighs> we walk and we sneeze. It's what we do. <sighs> There's two tunnels. I'm okay. <laughs> Gee, it looks like I don't have enough money. Nothing in this top row. I'm okay. I already have a coin of slumber. Damn it. Uh, I don't need any of that. We're also running an inn. It's $210 a night. Do you want to stay? Where exactly did we sleep? Longest traffic jam. What are you over here peeing? Hi, lady. This traffic jam is taking forever. Man, do I need to go. Oh, I guess we're hot. I feel sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent on leaving my car here and walking. I heard that a little ways ahead is a buffalo is running across the road. I can't move an inch. So now what do we do? Don't talk too loud. What do you want? I got what you need. Oh, we don't have enough room. Hold on. It feels like this is half the game.
Oh, nothing else. Oh, took the wrong path. Let's fight this dude. Figured it. Butterfly. And a monkey. Is it the bubble monkey? Is it my buddy? Cool, cool, cool. Welcome. Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind. And he knows everything Talarama does. He made us in the underground rooms. Closer, you'll get smacked. Okay, so obviously we're supposed to go down there, but not yet. Let's look around a bit first. Kill scorpions, stuff like that. Ooh. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Flying a UF a little UFO. I haven't met, haven't run into them in a while. Oh, it's it's wearing a bow because it's a cute one. <laughs> That's sweet. I like that. A bag of fries. Oh, I'll always take a bag of fries. What the hell? We find dragons in the desert. Crested Buka. And there's a buffalo. Bad buffalo. Oh, he looks sad. So right now I'm trying to stay along these rocks down here. Because the road is going along that way. Ooh, I see. Eh, yeah, dog. How is this even a f Oh, it's a wolf. It's not a regular dog. It's like, how is this even a fight? Oh. Now to the butterfly. Which I don't think I really need. I haven't used any PSI. And it's running away from me, so. A bottle rocket. We like bottle rockets. What's this? Dusty Dunes headquarters for finding buried gold. It's a small house, but please stay the night. When you awoke, the traffic jam was over. Call dad? Yeah, okay. Okay, what are we at now here? Boop -a -doop -a -doop. I don't think I need to bear dig for gold. I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Look at the spring sticking out of that mattress. Great. Good hole. Good hole. Good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving. Do you have any food you can spare? Seems like you have a lot of stuff. What are you going to give me? Uh, Vern's got a picnic lunch, don't she?
Thank you. When I find the gold, I'll give it to you. I don't want to go down in any holes yet. I, I'm gonna. Uh oh, what? Why are we? What's wrong with Joe? Sunstroke. Oh shit. Aha. I got you, buddy. Shit, can we go swimming? East to fourth side. All right. So I might have just skipped some stuff, but I'm gonna. I'll, I'll come. We'll come back and go into those holes. I want to see what's in fourth side first. Wee! Oh, this is pretty. It's like San Francisco, the the big bridge. Boy, it's a long walk. Stay on the lines, kids. Oh, butterfly. I feel like there's probably a lot more opposition we skipped. <laughs> Fighting a taxi. Why is the taxi mad? Totally scrapped. Side has developed quite a bit since Mr. Geldergaard Montali hit the big time. It's been good for the city. Oh, that's is that the hotel? No, this is the hotel. All right. We don't need to stay right now, though. We just rested. We haven't fought anything except a stupid taxi and this dude. Annoying reveler. Go. Buddy in this town evil? Present protein drink. for Earthbound 2. Only those who are related to this project are allowed to enter our software team. <laughs> what? I'm playing Earthbound 2. There's lots of junk like this bulletin board at the junk shop busted up located in the back alley of the department store. Where's the department store? I'm very punctual about time and careful about money. I don't look like it though. Pretty sure he's homeless. 
come on. We got the goods, G. What are you looking for? Uh, nothing you got. Mod boy jerk. Can't do me like that. Oh, what's that? Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like this isn't my place. Maybe it's your place. The boy stuck to the wall might be a peeping Tom. Montoli. Okay, here's the department store. Can we get behind there? No. Okay, so before I actually go in the department store and all that, I am going to go, we're going to walk back and see what was in those tunnels that we passed up. So, and I'm going to do it in fast forward. <laughs> Maybe, if I'm going the right way. Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to run back and... Because I feel like I probably skipped a whole lot that I didn't really mean to skip. I was just excited about seeing Forside. And now I'm not as excited. <laughs> I'm Thomas Jefferson. I'm Kid Brother Pincho. I'm Bigger Brother Pincho. I'm a slot machine. Can you talk to me from the front? <laughs> Broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers on their friend are very cheerful. Sure. Oops. So. Let's do it one more time. Lemon, seven, seven. I will be coming back to that on my personal time. Ooh, a thousand dollars each. No, I think it just said one thousand dollars. I don't know why I added each. What's that noise? Y'all hear that? Is it the excavation stuff? Down the hole. Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. Mom is now fasting. Practicing silent meditation. He is also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly. Hmm. I need to take a break. I'll be back.